Hello, my second graders. Today we are going to work on making folk art trees inspired by the artist Eloise Renoff of the United Kingdom. She says, the things I create are decorative yet simple, colorful, but thoughtful. So it's just these really simple trees and it's really about the line inside the tree and the colors that you use. Um, so all you need is a Sharpie or, um, if you don't have a Sharpie and you're just going to use a black marker, you're going to just use, um, oil pastel or crayon to fill in the trees. Um, but if you do have a Sharpie, then you could use watercolor or you could also do the trick with the marker and then blend the marker with water. Uh, but that won't work unless you have a Sharpie or a permanent marker of some kind. Okay, so really simple. Here is just how we're going to make our trees. You make a simple line, you give them some room so that you can add the branches and again, this is all with the Sharpie. Um, here are my, what I started with right here. So I took my Sharpie. First, when you are going to compose a new piece of art, you have to think, am I doing it the uh, vertical way or am I doing it the horizontal way? Am I doing it tall or am I doing it wide? Okay, so I, with the, composition of trees and I wanted to get a bunch in there as many of you know I like an odd number so I have one two three four five um it doesn't matter you could do four you could do three how many you want to fit in there and all you're going to start with are the different trunks so we wanted to go three so we have more room that's great I would probably start with whatever one I want to have in the middle so you can just go tall. Now we know that trees get smaller as they, they've got to end sometime. So that trunk gets thinner as it goes up and eventually comes together. Um, you can go straight across or you can make it more jaggedy. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want and then you probably want to fill it in or um, whatever you want. This one maybe is a little bit thicker or whatever or maybe it bends a little bit more. Again, I can decide if it just goes across like that and then color it in, or you could do kind of a shading of coloring it in, or you could even add kind of a texture, like a bark texture if you wanted to. It's up to you. And then I would do one more. Maybe this one's gonna be a little shorter, but much wavier. And maybe that will inspire what kind of branches I'm going to put on it. And then maybe I fill that all the way in. Okay, I'm going kind of quick so you guys don't get tired of Mrs. Mitchie's voice. So here with my five, you can see my five different tree trunks I started with, all right? Varying, variety is great in a composition. You have a variety of different uh, lines there on just the trunks. Now, the fun part is choosing what kind of branches you want to make. Um, so we'll go back to this one. I know I haven't finished it. So a really cute, simple, fun one is just doing kind of a wavy line back and forth and you start small and it gets bigger and bigger. I kind of like it a little bit tighter. You just kind of go back and forth and you can follow the curve of that, uh, that trunk if you want. Or you can make them go really far out. Or you can make them a little wider. Or you can keep them tighter. It's up to you. And then just end it where you want. Okay, that's kind of a fun one. Um, a very simple one is just the straight lines that get bigger and bigger. And I put a little dot on the end of them. And I put a little dot at the top. And they just go bigger and bigger. I put them probably closer. I'm just trying to go fast for you. And then you put a little dot at the end and then they get wider. And that is almost 
kind of like um, some sort of pine tree. You can make it a really thick pine tree or a really thin pine tree. And again, I like little dots on the end like this one here. Um, and then a, more of a realistic approach is those branches that start kind of smaller and they just, they can either echo each other and they just go up towards the light and they're just going up and they can, if there's one on that side, there can be one on this side or you can scatter them like one there and then one down there and then one here and then there. Um, I would definitely add either one on each side, one little extra branch, or you might want to go three. Three, even they can be different on each one, but it's going to look a little more realistic. So you can do that or whatever you want. You can see that I did that on this one. Um, this one curves up a little bit more. You can do whatever you want. This one's really kind of Dr. Susie, I like that one. It's kind of silly and fun. It almost looks more of a holiday tree. This one is a big branch, little branch, big branches, little branches, big branches, little branches. Okay, so you can kind of do whatever you want. There's lots of different ones. This one's almost like a peacock feather where it just goes around, 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 then goes straight up and then to the sides. All right, and then it has the little dots too. This one really looks like a feather really simple and cute um and then it's just once you get your different fun ones or you've tried out and practiced different ones and you like what you've got then it's time to have fun with your color um i did kind of more of a folly color i really like um i know i threw in the blue but if you go out there go outside you can see all kinds of different colors I kind of like it. It looks a little more um, folksy with the different, maybe not so realistic colors. Also, you can challenge yourself by, if you have watercolors or want to do marker, you make a shape, kind of a generic shape, and then to that generic shape, you would then add and fill up the lines however you want. Maybe that's the one that goes straight across. So that's another option for you too. Okay, have fun. Um, be inspired by art all around you. Please send me any of your beautiful pictures you make.